loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me a lot. <laughs> Stop! The pollen is killing my sinuses. And it's loves me not, not loves me a lot. Is Shadow faking sinus problems to get you to stop again? Yeah, he's jealous because I'm in love. <laughs> Did I tell you about when I met Lulu? Only about 60 times. I was being chased by the worst cat in the world. <laughs> oh, please stop talking. <laughs> What on earth is that? They look so serious. What are they saying? And that's why my dilemma is more important than yours, sir. Great, growling, nice rebuttal. Look, my case is more urgent. Oh, you are begging to be pecked. Are you begging for a bite? Hey, just calm down, you guys. No biting, no pecking. You both get white flowers. End of the line. Oh, oh. I'm here for you. Hi. Wait, excuse me. Let me through, you brutes. We're going to do this in an orderly fashion. The farm animals and forest animals heard about you and the bracelet, and evidently each of these animals is here because they'd like to ask you a question. All right, group up. Let's get back in our assigned groups. Yellow, green, good. Then blue and red. Come on, move it. The goose has separated them into categories based on the urgency of their request. It's all color-coded by flowers. I can't believe I gotta say this. You! Donkey, you're in the wrong group. Just follow me, please. You do realize that most of the animals here are colorblind, right? Just saying. Huh? What? Hey, where is your flower? Uh, I had it, but I lost it. Well, do you remember what color it is? Uh, I don't know, but I just want to find my mommy. Ah. <laughs> Aw, I think you belong at the front of the line. Zoe the Lynx can't find her mom or brothers. She's very brave, but also very scared. Don't worry, Zoe. I'll help you find your family. I promise. If I'd known this was going to operate in order of cuteness, I'd have brought my cubs. Hey, just bear with me here. No offense. I promise, if you can just be a little patient, I'll get to all of your requests. I'm not about to run away. <laughs> Poor fella. You miss your CC, right? Huh? I beg your pardon, but your horse is prepared, That's your very highness. good. Now please, wait with her over there. As you wish. Why not take Flick for a ride, your highness? Hilary, you're late for your singing lesson. Yikes! Sorry, Mom. I'll hurry. Your highness, I apologize for Hilary. She's fond of asking way too many questions. I hope she didn't take up too much of your time. All children ask questions. Are you taking a trip somewhere, or just having a nice, relaxing ride through the countryside? Adults, however, should know to mind their own business. Uh -huh. hmm. You can stay here, Zoe. I'll help you find your family. I promise. I miss Flick so much, but since he's gone, this place is yours. She said you're a miracle. I couldn't do anything without all of your hard work. She honked her name is Alice, and she's willing to help you absolutely any time. Zoe, you must be hungry. You just keep snoozing. I'll find you something. <laughs> huh? uh, what are we doing? 
<laughs> Dad's a world-class cookie thief, too. But I don't think you kids can do this on your own. You need a distraction. <laughs> Cece, I was coming to find you. Apparently, we're having special guests today. We are? Flick! <gasps> Is Flick really coming home? Yes, he is. Although I'm still not entirely sure how your father got me to go along with this. He's being personally returned by Emperor Franz. Well, that's interesting. Huh? Uh, yes. That's what all these cookies are supposed to be for. He also said that he has something to ask your father. And for some reason, he would also like you there when he does. Well, I just can't wait to hear what his question is. Probably want some fashion tips. Cece, I believe that. The Emperor is going to ask for your hand in marriage. No, he isn't. He might just ask how we keep Flick's mane so shiny. Yes, I think you hit the nail on the head there. The Emperor is coming to ask a horse question. Alrighty then. Whatever he wants, I'd better go change clothes. Oh, heavens, don't put the ugly pants on, Cece. Can you even imagine a crown on that girl's head? As long as our daughter's happy, I don't care what's on her head. Darling, <laughs> you're not going anywhere until you empty those pockets. <laughs> Nene, have you seen my ugly pants? They ended up in my suitcase. Mom <gasps> asked me to burn them. How am I going to do anything without you around to help me? Mm? I'm not going away forever. Just long enough for all the gossip to die down. And if you're lucky, some new scandal will shock the court and I can come back even sooner. You're really going to see all these places? Remember when we both used to dream about trips like this one? Yes, but I wanted to take an ocean liner and you wanted to take a horse with wings. But you're finally really going and well, I'm not. I'll write you every day. I'll be back in no time, all right, Cece? <gasps> Franz is on his way here. I know, Mom told me, but I should be gone before he arrives. Did Mother tell you anything else? There was no need. I saw how you looked at him, and Franz came and told me. What exactly was it that he said? He just said that his heart belonged to another girl. And it was awfully obvious that he was talking about my beautiful sister. And I think that he's got remarkable taste and really lousy timing. Nene. This is from my heart. All you have to do is say the word and I will tell him to go away and leave us alone forever. I will not let a stupid boy come between me and my sister. Cece, there's nothing that could ever come between the two of us. You and Franz have my blessing. And what is it about this room that's supposed to help us find Zoe's mother? Books. Welcome to the family library. There are books about pretty much everything. If you get your hands on the right book, then you can find out about anything. For example, you can learn more about a particular work of art. Or what goes on inside of the human body. Yeah! Or even what that stuff called love is all about. Love? An intense, driving affection directed toward an individual. That is so gross! Aha! Here we are. Lynx are found across Europe, and not a threat to man. Alright, what? What the heck are you gonna say to Franz? Um, I haven't really decided. What do you think I should say? You gotta tell him that you love him! <laughs> Nut, what did Shadow just say? That you must follow your heart! Huh, <laughs> <laughs> I've got something. The best method for tracking Lynx in the wild. What is it? It had to be poop. This proves my point, you know. Would a future empress really be out here poking leaves with a stick looking for poop? You got some? I do. Oh, yeah. There's poop everywhere. How do you
do we tell? Hey, watch where you're poop sniffing. Dog pie. Huh? This is definitely Lynx Gat, which means the den has got to be here somewhere in this area. They're here! It's Franz and Flick! This will remind us where to search for Zoe's mother. How do we know Zoe's mom made this? You must learn to trust the poop. Come on. Never let you go again. <sighs> You're my best friend. Hello. Come on. <sighs> right ahead to the villa. I'll be fine. Even more beautiful than I remembered. Are you really here to ask for my... To ask your father for your hand in marriage. Yes, that's why I've come. And did it not occur to you that maybe you and I should have a conversation first? Uh -huh. oh. Yeah! Make him grovel for it, sister! I guess all the stories about how independent you are are true. How your beauty is matched only by your stubbornness. They whisper, heaven help the poor man that's unlucky enough to find himself in love with that girl. What does it say about you that you're here in spite of all of those rumors? Most likely that I'm a fool. Huh? Hmm. Mm. A fool who will never stop loving you, and who would gladly give all the treasure in the world in exchange for the sacred privilege of a single kiss. But not yet, my darling. Uh, what? You've got to be kidding. Come on. Before anything else, I must petition your father, and he must consent to grant me your hand in marriage. Huh? Welcome, dear boy. Lovely to see you, dear aunt. Please show the emperor to his room. You can rest until dinner. Mm. Now, we need to chat, Cece. About what? From now on, you'll be spending more time in Vienna than here. There is much you must learn if you are to be Empress of Austria. You will have to study languages and court etiquette, and we'll have to do something about that catalog of vile monstrosities you seem to think belong in a noblewoman's wardrobe. Stop! I don't have time for this! Whatever you think is most important to you at this moment doesn't matter anymore. Once your father grants your hand to Franz, your life is going to follow a different path, and that's the truth. Dad! Dad! 
Dad? Dad? Are you here? I guess you're not. Huh? Dad? Dad? <gasps> Daddy, I've been looking everywhere for you. What are you doing? All right, fine. Those little monsters stole the cookies from the kitchen that I was going to steal from the kitchen. And you thought they might have hidden them in here. But this hasn't been their preferred treasure room in quite some time. Wonder where they hide stuff now. And I guess I should ask you what you'd like me to say to the Emperor who's coming to ask for your hand. I'm not really sure what I should do. I mean, Franz is wonderful, but I can't imagine living anywhere else in the world besides right here at Posenhofen. I really don't know if I could adjust to life at the palace in Vienna. I just wish Franz wasn't royalty so we could both live here. Well, he's not regular. He's the Emperor. And you, my daughter, must decide. Well, what do you think I ought to do, Father? Whatever would make you happiest, my dear. In that case, Father, <laughs> what I'd like you to tell the Emperor is nothing at all until I've had a little more time to make my final decision. This is the place, Zoe. We think that your mother and brother's den must be somewhere in this area. Ah, uh, uh-huh. Mama! I love Franz, but I believe I found this bracelet for a reason. I made a promise to the forest animals. There's no way I can abandon them. We're just not cut out for life in Vienna. Ah! 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 They both say love must win. <laughs> Alright, alright. This is awful. They both say that you shouldn't go to Vienna because you belong here instead. But I think you should marry Franz. Just a moment. This is the only way to find out if Zoe's truly ready to live on her own. we could help Zoe find her mother. Hmm. I'm just so proud of you, Zoe. I know it's scary, but you're ready now. Ready to live on your own. What is it the Mother Lynx is saying to Zoe? That it's time for her to be independent. I taught you everything a Lynx should know. You've grown so strong and brave, my daughter. And no matter what happens, my love will be with you always. Gotta visit mom. We should go. There's something I have to do. <coughs> have you huh? seen Cece? Huh? Oh, well, I'll, I'll leave you men now. Don't tease him too much. My dear Duke, I have come here to discuss a remarkable young woman who happens to be your daughter. 
<clears throat> well, uh, yes, of course. Believe me, I look forward to hearing all that. But before we get started, there are a few... Uh, uh, get comfortable. I'd like to propose some changes to our calendar. That sounds interesting. Tell me what you have in mind. Now, I know you want to talk about my daughter. But just hear me out first. Say our enemy wants to attack us in April. But there is no April. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying you have to use Max Vember. That's just an example. The point is that every month gets a new name. Are you with me mm -hmm. so far? Then maybe I should just start over. Imagine how confused our enemies would be if they came to attack us in April. <sighs> but... But there was no April in Austria anymore. Right! It'd be Franz Tober! You can't just barge in here, Cece. But enough strategy talk. I believe you had a question. Huh? Sir, I love your daughter more than life itself, and I have come before you today to humbly ask you for her hand in marriage. <laughs> Not because you're the emperor, but because you're a fine young man. My answer is yes. What were you talking about for so long? Oh, uh, mostly naming the months. You grow stranger every day. fan of romance than yours truly, but I've got a really bad feeling about this. <laughs> 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 